Hi everyone. Good morning. And may the good Lord bless you and guide you in Jesus' mighty name. Today we are going to teach, I'm going to teach you how to invest your money. Just a simple guide to grow your wealth in everywhere you may be. Figuring out how to invest money can be a real challenge. And I'm sure you will agree with me when I say there is certainly no shortage of information on investing available in the digital age. However, too much information can be overwhelming, right? That's why I made a, a guide to help you get a solid grasp of investing. It's perfect resources for beginners who want to start investing money in order to reach their financial goals. How to invest money. When figuring out how to invest money, it's best to start with the basis. I'm sure any financial advisor will agree with that. This basis includes setting the goal of your investment and determine where to invest money to best achieve each goal. When you invest money, what you are doing is either buying a portion of a company or a commodity with the belief that the value of that company or commodity will grow over time. But don't forget, investing in such a get-rich-quick is not a get-rich-quick scheme, but rather a way to constantly grow the wealth you already have. The good news is that even though investing is a way to grow your wealth, you don't have to have a lot of money to get started. Compounding interest detects that even small sums of money can be turned into fortunes over time, providing you select the right investment. Now, if question, where should I invest my money? When deciding where you should invest your money, you have got plenty of options. Number one, the stock market. The most common and agreeable, most beneficial place for an investor to put their money is in the stock market. When you buy a stock, you will then own a small portion of the company you bought into. When the company profits, they may pay you a portion of these profit, profits in dividends based on how many shares of stock you own. When the value of the company grows over time, so do the price of the shares you own, meaning that you can sell them at a later date for a profit. Investment bonds. When you purchase a bond, you are essentially loaning money to either a company or the government for yes, you can loan for the government. The government or company selling you the bond will then pay you interest on the loan over the duration of the bond's life cycle. Bonds are typically considered less risky than stocks. However, their potential for returns is much lower as well. Mutual funds. Rather than buying a single stock, mutual funds enable you to buy a basket of stocks in one purchase. The stocks in a mutual fund are typically chosen and managed by a mutual fund manager. These mutual fund managers charge a percentage base fee when you invest in their mutual fund. Most of the time, this fee makes it difficult for investors to beat the market when they invest in mutual funds. Also, most mutual fund investors don't actually ever beat the stock market. Savings account, by far, the least risky way and probably the worst way to invest your money is to put it in a savings account and allow it to collect interest. However, as is unusual the case, low risk means low returns. The risk when putting your money into a savings account is negligible and typically there there are little to no returns still savings savings accounts play a role in investing as they allow you to stockpile 
a risk-free sum of cash that you can use to purchase other investments or use in emergencies so you don't touch your other investments physical com commodities physical commodities are investments that you physically own such as gold or silver these physical commodities often save as a safe guide against hard economic times but let me just tell you the best ways to invest in 2020s 2020 21 22 onwards it's never too early to start investing in fact just a few years of a head start can often lead to hundreds of thousands of dollars pounds naira more money by the time you retire when you're investing in your 20s it's best to start out by focusing on paying off any debt you may have such as student loans credit loans card debt and so on debit works just the opposite of investment once you have your debit under control start researching the stock market and invest in as much as you can Take in as much information as you are able and start highlighting quality companies that you believe will grow in your value over time. We will talk about all these things in other videos. And I know you have listened and I know that as you start saving your money, Almighty God will help you to do so.